Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we are going to talk about probably the most annoying noise that a PC can produce. Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? And that is coil wine. And I'm going to explain to you today what coil wine is how to get rid of it, or if you can claim any warranty on those components that are, well, making that noise. First of all, what is coil wine? Or rather, here's a few examples of what coil wine can sound like. There can be lots of different noises that color wine can produce. Mostly it is though the similar sound, although in a different frequency range, depending on which component uh, is producing that color wine or what amperage is uh, flowing through that component or some other different factors. The most popular devices to wine are motherboards, power supplies and graphics cards. Although back in the day, like 2006 to 2010 or so, coal mine was most prevalent in graphics cards because the components used in those graphics cards were just not really up to par or were kind of uh, quality-wise not as good as they are nowadays and were produced by a different or rather in different process. Because some components which you may have seen in power supplies as well and still are used nowadays in that configuration are big inductors that are wrapped with coil or rather wrapped with wire and that wire if it is not wrapped tightly or if something else even if in a conductor in a motherboard is loose or whatever, or it's not glued properly uh, or soldered properly, due to the changes in current or due to the current flowing through it, that component in general, these coils or that wire can start to vibrate at a specific frequency. This is the case why when you have coil wine on a graphics card, for example, it winds at a different frequency based on what FPS values you have because it depends on the current that is drawn from the card or from the GPU and or how that current varies. Those components that tend to wind are mostly there to kind of smooth out that current. So the GPU sees a more static flow of energy and uh, not some flaky stuff that you don't want, uh, which may lead to crashes or whatever, or instability in general. Nowadays though, mostly the graphics cards have been fixed. Since about 2012, 2013, most manufacturers are using solid components and uh, if they aren't, they're at least encasing those components that can vibrate in some sort of a resin and that makes them less likely to vibrate or to uh, emit any noise. So graphics cards and motherboards are in most cases pretty good when it comes to coal wine. The other components that can still wine are power supplies because on those mostly those coals are still uh, exposed a lot of the time because they can emit quite a bit of uh, heat which has to be cooled actively of course and that obviously cannot be done if they are encased in resin or in some other glue and this is why call wines if they aren't particularly high-end units so lower budget units tend to wine more often but it can also happen to higher end units especially if for example there's some defect or those wires in quotation marks, haven't been wrapped particularly tightly or whatever. 
This can also happen over time or something different that can happen is when you uh, change a component. For example, you change from an older graphics card to a newer graphics card. For example, because modern graphics cards pull a lot more amps at a lower voltage. And this can produce a louder coil whine in your power supply where you didn't notice it before, for example, but you do notice it now. Is there any warranty or can I claim any warranty on coil whine? Well, it depends kind of on the manufacturer or rather on how bad the coil whine actually is. The examples I showed you before, which were really, really bad, on those examples, the manufacturer probably would accept a return because on those instances, the coil wine is so bad that it will hurt your experience. So it is very loud and even in games where you play at normal frame rates, it is very noticeable. Where on the other hand, some cards or some power supplies or some systems in general will only whine when the frame rate is very high and then only in a very high pitched note. For a lot of people that may be very annoying. That is not necessarily something the manufacturer will refund. So that might be dependent on how lucky you get with your support agent and what they tell you. And uh, yeah, maybe they're generous and let you refund or that get you a refund or send you a different card or whatever so that could happen but i don't guarantee for anything in any case i would just try if you still have any warranty on the card left or on the component itself and you can't pretty much can't lose anything so by just asking if they don't well then you at least asked but if they do lucky for you you may get a new card and you may not have coil wine after all but what happens or what can you do if they don't accept a return well well that's where it becomes kind of tricky on graphics cards that can be relatively difficult because most of them are pretty enclosed of course i only have very old graphics cards here for demonstrating purposes but even here you can see most of the card is not exposed and only a few components are accessible right away but on motherboards that might be maybe a lot easier you can look or hear for the component that is producing that wine and for example if you take a i don't know cotton swab or something made out of plastic please do not use something made out of metal because obviously that can short something out use some sort of i don't know something made out of plastic whatever doesn't really matter and where the coin wine seems to come from you can just press lightly on that component and if that coal wine goes away you know there's an issue with that specific component If you found that component, that's already half the way there because then it's pretty easy to do. I don't recommend this, but it's a step or a thing that I would do because it works and you don't have to buy any components or resold or anything. Obviously, you could just replace that component that reduces the coil wine, but I myself, I like to do it the uh, getaway or the cheap way. And that is just to use some hot glue and fill in the spaces inside of the component. So if it's like a choke on a motherboard, fill it in between the motherboard and the choke if there's room. Or you can just, uh, if it's like an open coil, then you can put the hot glue all around the coil and fix the components that are inside that choke or that the wire that is wrapped around the coil. So you may get lucky and it will work or otherwise you may have to desolder and buy an exchange component from AliExpress or whatever and just solder the new one on. And if you're lucky, then also the coal mine might go away. This can obviously also be done on power supplies, but opening up power supplies can be very dangerous and I would not recommend it only if you have a lot of experience and you know what you're doing just to get that out of the way. 
Otherwise, you can pretty much do that with any component, also with graphics cards. If you have, for example, a cooler that lets you have a lot more space around the PCB and you can check each and every component. But also, as I said, be careful and do not damage anything. Don't press too hard on stuff, obviously. It should only take a bit of pressure to see if um, each and every component does vibrate or not. It's just to basically fix it to the PCB so that it doesn't vibrate independently from it. If that still does not help, well, there's not really much you can do. Um, if it is depending on the frame rate, for example, you can set a V-Sync up or a frame limiter so that it does not go over your refresh rate of the monitor, which is generally the best thing to do anyway, because you are also going to save some power, but that would be your only bet to do. You can also limit the voltage or rather undervolt that component that may also reduce the call line or on graphics cards you can reduce the power limit also or the clock speed sometimes different things can result in different reductions in that noise but you just have to try around if it works or if it does not all in all, there are ways to reduce it or to get rid of call wine. I have tried a few and they worked, especially that thing with the hot glue worked in my case pretty well. And I went from, well, being blasted with a uh, cricket noise to basically zero. So that was pretty nice. And um, yeah, reducing frame rate, as I told you, always works as well. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. And um, if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, I wish you a nice day and goodbye.